Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are all well. So in this video, we are going to talk about how to set up a backend for our Amazon clone using Node.js. So in this video, we are going to talk about how to set up a database in our Node.js, how to use Express.js, how to use cores and lots of things. So today's video is going to be an interesting video. So let's go. So first of all, we have to create a folder for our Amazon backend. As you can see, this is the Amazon frontend where our frontends lives. And we have to create another folder here called Amazon backend. And now we have to open this folder in our VS code. So just right click and click on open with code. So VS code is open now. Now open a terminal here. And type n wait a second npm and open a terminal and, and type npm in it and then press and enter. So this will create a project for our backend. So the package name is Amazon dash backend. Press enter. Version is one. Description is nothing. Entry point here the set entry point as a server dot js and then enter enter and enter so our project is now created now we have to create a server dot js folder which is uh, our entry point as you can see here we type server dot uh, server dot js as our main file so this is the entry point file now here we are going to install some dependencies here. So first of all, we have to install npm i express.js. So just type express, then course, then course and enter. So this is the basic dependencies to run a project in a, a Node.js. Okay. And then after we have to import this, this express.js or course in our project so here in node.js you can import file like this const express is equals to require express or oh sorry require express okay similarly we have to install course is equals to require course okay now here we are going to create a, a app called app using express so just type express this is the our main app that we create and here we are going to create a port variable port is equals to 3001 3001 and then after here we are type app dot use this is the middleware. Okay. This is middleware express dot JSON. So you don't worry, guys. You just do as I do and it will work. And this is from documentation. So and this is mandatory to run any project in Node.js. Middleware. Okay. Another middleware is a course. Course uh, use cross object. Okay registry site app dot use course and save it now we can uh, apply the middleware now here we are going to create a simple project here simple api here we are going to create a simple api so app dot get 
app dot get and the base URL is slash so whenever rec res whenever the user is at the home site of our backend it appears res we have to send a response res dot status 200 dot send hello world and save it okay now here the entry level api that we just created so whenever we navigate to the home page or home route of for our backend we uh, get hello world as a text as a text so here we have to run the project so app dot listen what that we just created the 3001 and then we have to console it so console dot wait a second console dot log and then just type listening on the pot pot and save it okay and now to run this project here we are going to use a nodemon nodemon so to install nodemon just type npm i dash g nodemon that's it guys and enter this will install a nodemon this is the library of npm or node.js to run the node.js file without any type of error So it will take some time to install it. After installing Nodemon, just type Nodemon and it will run the project. As you can see, it run the project. And our project runs on 3001 port means localhost 3001. So go to web browser. Go to web browser and just type localhost 3001. And as you can see, hello world appears. Means at the home route, at the home route, hello world is up here. As you can see here. So I just change home page and save it and as you can see and I refresh it and it's appear home page so this is the home route similarly you can create a uh, different APIs and this is not a route this is API okay now here we are going to do a uh, set up our MongoDB database so how to do it so for that you just need to First of all, you need to go to Google and just type MongoDB. MongoDB, then click on the MongoDB, the first website on it. Sign in. After signing in your MongoDB account, you just click on this shared and then click on create. So this will create a cluster for our application in MongoDB, which is online. You doesn't need to install MongoDB uh, application in your uh, system. You just do it online. Okay. Then just click on uh, cloud provider. I just use AWS. Then the region you want. I use Asia or you can use anything. So I just use Mumbai and then create a cluster. Okay, this will create a database in our MongoDB. Okay, and then click on skip. And here we want to set a username and password. So I just type of username PD button two six seven. create a user 
okay success the user is created now so my user is now created now just go to my local environment click on my local environment and feel okay what we want okay then after that you just click on database and then this is our cluster called cluster 0 and now we are going to connect this cluster to our mongodb or our node.js app which is which we just created so wait a second to complete this process हाँ बोल बोला है बोला है नहीं कर मैं वीडियो बनाऊँ सो now our cluster is created then after click on the connect button allow access at anywhere no 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 we cannot do that to the collection method okay then connect your application click on the connect your application then select node.js and the version of it so 4.0 or later and then after and then after we have to copy this and go to our app copy this and close it okay so now go to our app and to connect our mongodb data to our application we need to install a mongoose mongoose is a node.js library which will connect which will connect our mongodb database to our node.js application so first of all we have to install it npm i mong goes and install it so this will take some time okay so mongoose is now installed it now we have to import that mongoose file in our application so just type mongoose is equals to require dot mong mongoose and save it now mongoose is now imported after creating the cluster click on the connect button then add your current IP address click on this button and add IP address and choose a connection method and then 
choose a method which connect your application and then copy this okay and close it after it go to our server.js and here we have to create a connection url connection url so const connection url is equals to this that we just and instead of this password you just type a password that you inserted and then instead of this my first database type cluster cluster zero sorry zero and save it according to this this is the cluster zero so you just type that thing in it cluster zero so spelling is same cluster okay and then save it after that we have to connect our database using mongoose so mongoose dot connect using connection url and there is three uh, object and in which we have to type use in which we have to type use new url parser and don't worry guys this is from documentation you just need to type as i type so true and then use unified topology equals to true and save it okay and at, at that time it will connect okay so there is some error here as you can see and what's that error is okay authentication failed so the password is wrong here so i just change my password admin and then check okay it's working i think the password is right now and save it again save it and it looks nice now so it will connect the database with our node.js application okay so that's it guys so in this video we learn how to connect the database using mongoose how to create a simple api using express.js and how to run our node.js project using nodemon so if you like this video please subscribe press a like button and share with your friends so thank you for thanks you for watching guys